Man, it's hot out. Let's hope I can get this recording done soon so I can turn the fan back on. This episode, episode 7, was another flashback episode. It's a, it's a flashback from the same period as the previous flashback episode. I wish they would have just put those things in the previous flashback episode and it would have had a little more continuity or something, but though I think it would have turned more people off for reasons I'll expand on a little. This episode emphasized even more, I mean really emphasized, the notion that Jedis can do really fucked up things and actually be the bad guys even if they think of themselves as the good guys. You know, even if they have good intentions, because after all, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, right? Also, the notion that other belief systems can be just as powerful as the Jedi's, and without necessarily being evil, may be a little creepy at times, but aren't necessarily evil. Most of the problems in this episode, most of the things that have happened badly, have turned out badly, are because of the actions of Sol, the, uh, uh, the Jedi master named Sol, and some of his stupid decisions. The thing is, after learning so much more from this particular flashback than the last flashback, I don't really understand Sol's intentions, other than being full of himself and being a Karen, and in his Jedi beliefs thinks that anything that utilizes anything supernatural that isn't Jedi, that isn't towards this particular way of approaching the Force or, or whatever, right, is evil. And Soul must be the knight in shining armor to save children from it, right? Even if they're the children's guardians, or parents for that matter. That's just not the way I really want to look at the Force. But I kind of have to now, now that they've introduced this, it's just like, well, I can't unsee it. But, you know, it's not the way I originally wanted to look at the Force. Or people who try to positively utilize the Force. I know it's trying to put a twist of realism into the picture, but it kind of sucks. I honestly never would have thought of the Force and those who try to utilize it positively as causing huge problems for whole communities. It used to be a cut and dry sort of thing, you know, good versus evil. And this puts a huge hole in that premise. Again, I understand that it's trying to introduce realism, variances, and nuance, but this is kind of a hard pill to swallow in contrast to the easy to digest pill that the original the originals were if soul wouldn't have pushed the whole jedi thing onto osha none of the horrible things that followed would have happened but they shouldn't have been there to begin with you know if these jedis would have just simply used the prime directive from star trek uh, none of this would have happened right and th this wouldn't have been a story to begin with they'd have to write something else right granted from this episode Soul has broken a number of laws, and he'll probably have to uh, speak to a council or, or be judged in a court of law or, or whatever their, their system of laws are there, the, the way that they imp implement them. So, you know, I, I don't go into the lore of Star Wars, so I don't know the names of, of all of that stuff. So I just know, hey, he's, he might see some jail time, right? You know, it, it really seems he should pay for what he did. And now I wonder if episode 8 will be a flashback where they fill in a number of areas that they didn't disclose before, like if Soul spent time in prison or something, or whether they'll jump to the present in, in the series anyway. As much as I don't like this episode for a variety of reasons, I appreciate that they filled in a lot of the details that were really, really missing before and made it kind of confusing before. It went by very quickly, even though it's one of the longer episodes. I give this episode a 5 out of 10. It's not great, but it's not terrible either, so...